Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Pradeep. In today's demonstration, I'm going to show you how to use the Fiori. Okay, so <clears throat> we can see how to post a transaction, how to post a document through Fiori, how to check the balance, how to check the document uh, in Fiori. So as you know, Fiori, we have another deployment option is there. That means we can use the like new user experience. We can feel the experience of new user experience through the Fiori, which is completely different from your on-premises, like traditionally how we are connecting to SAP system. Uh, instead of that, how can we can use the applications or, or we can do the business transaction through app or through cloud. So that I'm going to show. This is a very short video on uh, Fiori. In future also, I will, uh, I will add some more videos on uh, different, different app, um, business process related to uh, Fiori. Okay, let me uh, log into Fiori as other apps added. And we can see the Fiori also. We can do so certain activities through Fiori. Uh, remember here, we can do only the user activities here, no configuration. And uh, this will be a little bit slow. Uh, it's slow because uh, um, uh, in training environment, they are not properly maintaining the system. That's why it is slow. So we have to be patient because till the time the apps will not be properly loaded. So uh, we will not get the, like all the functions will not work. So you will here you will find different type apps. Okay, some apps you can use for reporting purpose, some apps for uh, transaction purpose. It's still loading. Okay, so you can see different app, uh, different type of apps are there. Suppose you want to see the GL balance. Just click here. Still it's not loaded. Okay, display GL balance, suppose. And which GL you want to see? Anything if you want to select, you can select, otherwise just have to select everything, go. Right, any ledger you can select here. So suppose let's say this one. Then you can specify the period. Go. So this is your nothing but FS 10 N. What is uh, right in easy access is there. But without using any T code, we can also see here. This is the debit balance and uh, we have posted in the first posting period. So a different look and feel is there. And uh, this way you can also use this one. Similarly, you can see here, uh, you just need, you need to explore this area. Different apps are there. What are these different apps? Let's post one transaction, suppose. So you can see here one document entry is there. You want to create something master data. You will find master data here. I created one uh, testing purpose. I created one um, uh, cost center also yesterday. So <clears throat> a document entry, again, be patient. It will take time, some time to load the apps properly. But it's working only due to this training environment. It is a little bit slow.
okay so these are nothing but all your user activities okay the incoming payment postings so in this way it will appear to post the transaction so specify the period if you want to use the ledger group here itself no separate equals are there here itself you can mention uh, ledger with ledger group or without ledger group then debit and credit line if you need some more line items you can see plus symbol is there keep on adding the lines so here you can select one ledger what you want to select for debit let's say this one amount then credit select the credit ledger don't type amount here it's credit so select the credit it's all just uh, in a different way I'm using the informations so it is not similar to your EG access how you used to operate so uh, this asterisk functions plus all these things will not work because this is one uh, just a input purpose we can use here no other functions it will work here so everything is done now let's post it debit uh, okay okay this is this should be 2000 2000 debit 2000 credit okay document posted document number 1006 now can we verify this particular transaction through on premises let's see FB03 this one we have posted document number Uh, one triple zero six. One triple zero six. Okay. Okay. It's posted. Right. So if you are going to do anything here, user activity, also you can verify there. Like we have seen the GL balance that we have used through Easy Access, and this also we have used the Fury app posting the transaction. That also we can verify here so uh, that's as we are using the hybrid system whatever the activity we will do so it can be verified in both the systems okay but remember no uh, configuration options will be here it is only the user activity so time